100 subscribers what pate thanks everybody for your support i really appreciate it and now let's get to the program for today the end result is this stuff mushroom broth and we're going to show you how to do it hello everybody today my cat absolutely um had to be part of the video so here she is um say hi yeah, anyway, um, one of you requested that I do a mushroom broth. I know I've done a veggie broth before. Um, I've never done a mushroom broth, so I'm gonna do that and let's see how it goes. We'll experiment. Here's my gigantic pot that I typically make broth in. Um, there's no way I'm gonna be filling this pot with water just because I don't have enough mushrooms. I, I usually don't use uh, more than double the amount of, um, well, I guess double, I, I take the amount of veggies that I have, I double that and that's my water and there's just, there's not going to be enough there. Um, so I, I'm taking three of these packages. If I use mushrooms, they are organic just because non-organic mushrooms have a bunch of crap all over them, um, literally and figuratively. Okay, so technically organic mushrooms do too, but not as many chemicals. So um, I'm going to chop up this third box of organic mushrooms. I'm going to put it right into my pot and then I will um, double that volume with, uh, with water. This is what I ended up with. I don't know if you can quite tell, so let me try to show you. Um, the mushrooms hit to about here, so I'm going to try to, you know, get water maybe about mm, two-thirds of the pot full. That seems about right to me. Okay, that seems just about right, so I'm going to stop it. And um, now I'm going to put this on medium-high, uh, not medium-high, high heat, but once it starts boiling, I'm going to reduce it to medium-high. And I'm going to do that for... I know normally my veggie broth I do 40 minutes, 20 to 40 minutes, it just depends. But with this, you know what, I'm going to change my mind here. I'm not going to do this just with um, mushrooms. I'm going to add onion because I think onion makes really makes a broth taste good. So yeah, I'm changing my mind mid, mid broth prep here and I'm going to add in a full onion and some garlic. So give me one quick second. Yeah, this guy's going in. So as you can see, I've cut them into big chunks. You don't need small, little, thin slices if you're doing a broth. I did, however, um, take the outer layer off uh, the skin. I took those off, and a lot of people will say, well, if you're just doing a broth, you don't have to do that. Well, that's true, but I use my leftovers. Um, for instance, this will make a really good um, foundation for a nice veggie burger, so... I'm going to, um, that's why I took the outer layer of the onions off. In they go. Now time for the garlic. Butamus. And this guy right here, this is the single best tool for getting rid of the skins from your garlic cloves. What we do is you just break apart your garlic cloves and then you stick them in here and then you roll it. You sort of press down as you roll and um, you dump out the skins and the garlic clove comes out completely naked and it's really cool. Um, really hard for me to show you with this camera because y'all I do not have expensive gear. It's just seriously me and my phone so I'm doing everything <laughs> one handed. So let me just sort of see if I can do this real quick and I'll show you. I kind of broke apart the um, garlic head, if you will, and I have a couple of garlic cloves here, and I'm just going to put them right in this little contraption. I don't know what this is called. I don't know where you get it. I'm imagining if you <laughs> look online, if you Google for something like, you know, garlic de-skinner or something, <laughs> you'll probably be able to find it. I don't know. All right, so um, this one got rid of the, the skin is off of it like completely, so that's cool. I'm gonna mince that. This one, it's almost completely done. I just have to basically just, you know, take that off and I mean, it's basically done. A Couple little shreds here and there, but 
it's it's good to go so I'm gonna mince that too I'm gonna do that for all of these so I'm gonna put the whole head in there and this is the tool that I use to mince garlic I know there are lots of different garlic mincers out there and that's fine and dandy this one is awesome you basically put this right over the garlic and you push down with both hands um, now again I'm operating single-handed right now so let me just do that real quick show you what it looks like there you go so um, and I just sort of like scrape that off, but I'll do that for all of these little um, cloves and put them right into the broth. Now you don't have to do this for broth. For broth, again, because it's just broth, you can simply probably just, you know, um, mash, you know, just do a, a quick smash of the garlic. Oh, pardon me. Um, <laughs> you can take like the butt of a, of a, of a, of a knife and, you know, I could probably just you know, smash it real quick, stick it in the broth, and then that will be fine. But, um, you know, you don't, you don't really even have to do that. You can maybe slice one of these cloves in half. That would probably be enough. But, again, because I'm going to reuse all of this stuff, I'm just going to mince it. That's my own choice, but you do what you want. This is basically what the uh, whole head of garlic ended up looking like, all of the different cloves. Um, you know, it's not perfect, and there's some stuck on the bottom here. But again, it's just broth, so I'm not going to care. I'm just going to scoop that right on top of everything, and um, let's go. All right, there it is. Um, now, I know that some of you um, might be interested in additional healthy tips, so I will say that I saw, I want to say I saw one of Dr. Michael Greger's videos not too long ago saying that if you want to get the maximum benefit out of garlic, then what you do is before you put it on heat, you let it sit. Um, and I've seen anywhere from 10 minutes all the way up to 45 minutes. So honestly, I should have done this garlic first. So if you do this for yourself, or if you're ever cooking with garlic, deal with that first, set it to the side, because apparently the enzymes need time to activate or something, I don't know. But if I can find any of those videos, I will post them right here for you. Um, right now I'm going to go ahead and put this on heat just because I am, um, you know, very impatient. But it'll take a while for it to actually heat up anyway. I'll give this a good stir before, um, before I walk away from it. Okay, it's all stirred up, ready to go. I've put it on heat. Um, I'm going to set a timer probably for about an hour. Um, and that's it. I'll let you know how it goes once it's done. But while it's cooking, don't you feel like giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing while you're at it? Just a suggestion. All right, the hour is up and we are ready. This smells absolutely amazing, by the way. Um, I can't wait to try it. It kind of boiled over for a moment there, so that's why you see all this detritus on the uh, sides of the pot. If I had been paying more attention, I could have avoided that. Pot, strainer, stuff, broth, mmm, smells so good. So here's what it looks like in a white ramekin, so you can see the color. The color looks really good. Um, it tastes really good too. I think that probably most everybody is going to want to add a little bit of salt to their broth. Um, for me, I don't. I don't do this. Um, I just don't want things to be overly salty. I can always add salt on top of whatever it is that I'm cooking in this broth later. So um, that's up to you, though. This is really good. This turned out, so I am very happy. My first time ever making mushroom broth, so I hope it works for you, too. Please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support, everyone, and subscribe if you haven't already. Ask me any questions or leave a comment below and I will respond as soon as I can. Alright, take care everyone. Ciao!